All right, YouTube, the Shadow King, King Nazru. And oh boy. Oh boy, do we got a treat. So, recently there's been an interview where Simon Pegg, a famous British actor, you might know him from some of his work such as Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, um, what was another one he made? Uh, some of the he was also in the Chronicle of Narnia, and uh, in the miss some of the Mission Impossible films. Though I personally didn't watch them, I mean, because I stopped being a fan of Simon Pegg for Paul during Paul for previously said re said reasons. Uh, but uh, the short blood of it is was his uh, condescending and somewhat offensive. Uh, Parody, I mean, parody versions of Christians uh, to promote atheism, and well, I just found later uh, th things have led me to find him to be a bit of an asshole. So, but enough about him. Uh, let's talk about what he's been doing. Recently. So, recently, he's been saying that he's kind of feels that the new stars movies, you know, this uh, in Disney can with. Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Rogue One, and uh, Solo, and the upcoming Episode Nine, whatever that's going to be called, all have feel to be missing the magic that George Lucas has been giving. And what's really funny about this is that Simon Pegg, for about the past twenty or so years, has been one of the biggest. Prequel haters uh, that people know of, and even going so far to say that George Lucas making the prequels was comparable to George Lucas killing his babies. Yes, he compared the prequels to infant side, and now this man is saying that he misses George Lucas and this week. The see these new movies just don't hold up without his special touch to them. Uh. Oh man, I'm I'm really enjoying this because I've always felt that Simon Pegg was a bit of an I mean not always but uh, for a long time I've really felt that Simon Pegg was an asshole. Um, not just because of what he did with George Lucas and what he did in Paul, but also how he treated his uh, treated his fans when they said Star Trek uh, Into Darkness was a shit movie. He basically said fuck them. Uh, and I mean that just really showed his true colors. As for how I feel about his uh, about his turnabout opinion. Well, on the one hand, I'm glad that he finally sees that uh, that it was a mistake to get rid of George's influence. Influence that he still needed to be involved in Star Wars. I mean, because it's not the same, and it's quickly crumbling without it. Especially when you try to focus less on making good stories and expand them on the Star Wars mythos, and more about identity politics and uh, your pro activist movements. Uh, but on the other hand, I feel like this is more like a you reap what you sow uh, kind of moment. Where I, Simon Pegg was basic, uh, was demonizing George Lucas, which is ironic considering he's an atheist. Uh, just bashing the prequels pretty much every turn he could get. And all I can say is, I mean... The Christian in me wants to forgive him, I mean, for realizing his mistake, but the Star Wars fan in me just wants to say, you reap what you sow, asshole. So I figured that I'd come up with a middle ground and say, I, I, I pity you, Simon Pegg, now that you finally realize what you, the full repercussions of what you've done, but I don't feel sorry for you. I'm, yeah, that's pretty much how my feelings are towards Simon Pegg at this point. Uh, as far as Star Wars is concerned. All I can say is that you're just going to have to accept what you caused. And 
just hope that it's going to be a merciful death for this franchise. Uh, at least this version of the franchise. And hopefully someone can pick stars up, make the Disney canon non-canon, and either bring back the EU or bring back something that's just equal in substance. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for Simon Pegg. <laughs> yeah, great to know that you made your mistake, but I can't, I can't feel sorry for you. Sorry. Just don't feel anything. Don't feel any remorse for you.